stage, and it's okay. It doesn't have to be the same, you know? Sure. Do you <laughs> think you grew as Elphaba in your run? Oh, in yeah. your run? Uh, it, absolutely. Every time I've done the role, I've grown, and I'm sure I will this time as well. Even, I mean, so it's such a short time, but I'm looking forward yeah. to, you know, coming back together with Megan, and we've both gone away and done other things, and and we've both grown tremendously in those other projects, and we get to come back and have another stab at it and close the oh. that we originated. So it's awesome, and I'm, we're both so, so, so excited. Um, you're not the only one. Uh, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby would like you to describe being in the lift during Defying Gravity. Okay. Well. Or like um, when you first very- started doing it. Well, well, especially when I first started doing it, it was more a very technical thing for me because obviously when I was a standby, I didn't have eight shows a week to perfect my 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 own thing with the technical stuff. So it was very like, okay, step on with my left and pull my cape over and hit the lever with my back and get ready to go, <laughs> you know. Now I'm I'm so used to it that I can – not even have to second guess anything and really continue on with my, you know, my performance and not have to think, okay, make sure this, make sure that, make sure this, because it's just an automatic. So would you say it's, would you say it's too late for second guessing? <laughs> exactly. That, that's the shit that I'm not going to, that's the shit that I'm not going to do in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that was hilarious. Do That's it. the shit I'm not going to do in front of you when I see you, you know, because I'm a big dork. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Jonathan would like to know, will you be at Wicked 5? No. No. I, both Megan and I will be in L.A., so we'll be performing the show, and, you know, so I don't think... We'll be at Wicked to five times a week that. in L.A. Mm-hmm. Right? More than five. Okay. okay. Well, eight no, shows a week, be, Phil. <laughs> I think it's going to be a great, a great event to to attend. There's just going to be awesome people there, and you know, so I wish I could be there. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're going to be in LA. Um, Camille would like to know if you have ever dropped the broom. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, in the lift. In the middle, I've dropped it at, in Defying Gravity, like, but right as the lights went. Um, dark at the very end. Oh, so, so the, the, the big, like, everyone just heard a clunk. You no, know, no, it, it hit Marty Thomas in the head. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it hit him in the head, and he he felt a little woozy for a while, but you know he's a survivor. He made that it. queen was like, "Give me an understudy." <laughs> <laughs> I love Marty. He was on our show about a month ago. He's really sweet. Yeah, he's awesome. He's a sweetie. Harrison would like to know, what is your favorite song to perform in Wicked? Um, well, Harrison, um, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I, I, the, it's such an amazing role to sing, and it, it kind of depends on the day for me. I mean, because I love singing Wizard and I. I love singing I'm Not That Girl. I mean, Define Gravity is, you know, it's a given. It's awesome to sing. No good deed. I mean, you know for good is I I really enjoy singing all of them. The only one that sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me, is Wizard and I, because it's like straight out the gate, you have that song. It's like the first time everyone's hearing you, and it's like their first taste of alphabet. So sometimes that one's a struggle for me, but it depends on the day. I love Um, The struggle is like, uh, if that's your struggle, I would like to know what a... uh, a good day. That's ridiculous. You're so amazing. <laughs> so amazing. Ah, I love your no good deeds so much. I could kill myself. Um, <laughs> Clay would Don't like to know that. if you will. I won't do that because then I wouldn't be able to sing Wicked, uh, you know, riffs for you. Um, know. Clay would like to know if you'll be doing Wicked San Francisco. No, I will not be. I'm just going to be with the show these last ten weeks of the LA production and then. Um, somebody else will be going to San Francisco. Oh, so sad, but I'm going to see it as many times as I can in L.A. So, you know, if you, if you, if you happen to see me, like, you know, winning the lottery and stuff, 
because Lord knows this website and show does not pay me enough to go see Wicked all the time. Um, yeah. <laughs> you see me in the front row? Don't just just pass just pass it off. Don't even worry about it. You know what I mean? I love it. I love it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I cannot. Oh, are you gonna change? Do you think you're gonna change it up? Or are you gonna go back to? Um, how you perfected it before? Do you have any ideas of I, how you're going to go I'm back? Not, I'm not. Um, I just start. I started to really thinking about it this week um, because it's you know a week from Friday we're going to be back in the show. So um, I'm I'm, oh I'm not going to think. Oh, last time I did it like this. You know, I'm going to come with fresh eyes and you know it's all new new principles that I'm going to be working with. Except Megan, you know, but I've worked with all of them before, but. You know, all of us together were, you know, the last time David Garrison, Carol Kane, Megan Hilty, Derek Williams, and I did the show together was three years ago on Broadway. Oh. Um, so it's going to be awesome. But, I, no, I'm not going to, you know, you might hear some singing riffs that are the same because there's only so many things that they allow you to do, you know? <laughs> sure. Do you but plan riffs? Riffs riff, riff, riff are, like, big with your fans. Um, do you plan on on I mean, do you plan on riffs before you go on like Defying Gravity? No. Yeah. Do you plan? No. You don't. No, it's just always like how I'm feeling at that moment, at that day, in that song. You know, sometimes friends of mine that have come to see the show, you know, and they're coming again, will be like, "Girl, you better put in some of your special stuff for us." You know, so I'll throw in things if I have friends in the audience that, you know, give. Jokingly, or like you better, you better pull out all the fancy things, you know. <laughs> so um, the only when I come on, be like, when I come on Halloween know, at the Halloween, end of the fine. Halloween is definitely. I mean, that, there's definitely going to be some specials on Halloween because it's the first show back, you know. Halloween. <laughs> I want you. To, <laughs> at the funny. end of. Thanks. At the end of Defying Gravity, I want you to sing. I want you to go, oh, I love Polly. Is that something know. that you <laughs> could get fired for that? Do you think the director would allow it? Okay. Then on January 11th, that's what I expect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to some, I'm having, Rico, I'm having trouble with our switchboard. Do you have it up? I'd like to take a I couple sure calls. Do. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, area code 601 would be the best one right now. Okay. Uh, waiting area a while. Code Erico 601, you're on the air. Hey, hey, Polly. Hey, who's Hi. there? How much rehearsal do you have to do before you go back to Wicked LA? Um, and do you still remember your lines? Um, very good who question. Is 